Okay, so this is how to uh, do the pre-caching that we talked about. Basically, when you go over to the testing section, you go to sessions, and you can do them all at one time or just the ones you want. So you go in over here to the filters and say, not started, because if they're started, it's too late. Um, and then you pick a session or all the sessions. You could do them all. I'm not going to do them all because I don't know if they're all set up yet. But let's, I set up a test one down here. So I click on that. Uh, and then, you, or like I said, you could do them all. And then you go pre-caching test content and hit start. And then you just hit the button. This is, it would list them all if you did them all. And this one's just going to cache to our backup server because that's where I set it up to. And you just hit the pre-cache button. And it says, hey, it's a designated pre-cache computer. And then, boom, it pops up to the pre-cache con computer. And you can see it's getting ready to load. And then it will go and say, that's um, when it's loaded, it will turn green. And then the next one will start. And it will get whatever tests you want to do loaded. You only have to pre-cache it once. Um, and then that's it. Then it's already there. So that if somebody starts a test, it will be there when it's done. And obviously, we're waiting for that to go green and say, OK, just like that one is. And that is it uh, to pre-cache the test. There we go. It's all done. So again, you go here. We'll go back to home. And where you normally come in for the sessions, you go to sessions. Uh, I selected ones that are not started. Um, yeah, I, I suppose you could do one that are started too. Um, you just pick whatever test you want to pre-cache. I'll go ahead and do this English 8 one there. You go down, select pre-caching test content, start, and then you just hit, and this one's going to pre-cache the middle school one. You just hit pre-cache, and it has a little pop-up here. Um, this came to my other window. Um, don't just hit run when you see this. That's it. Hit run so it can run the program and then it'll automatically open up the tab. You, I didn't record the top tabs, but you can see now that it's um, waiting to download the share content this test has and then the test 8 data. Um, and then under preloaded, that's where all the tests that they load while it started go. So if I click on here now, we will see all the tests that downloaded while the test was in progress. Those are all the ones that loaded when kids clicked on them and those same tests would have showed up here as preloaded tests instead. And you can see those are done now. So that's all it is to preloading the test. If you preload the test, then there is no um, requirement once the kids in the test to stay online. It'll stay connected to our cache server. And if we lost the internet, it wouldn't do anything, apparently, from what they say. So that's how to pre-cache uh, the test in um,